Hello everyone, my name is Alan Cross. I do a radio program called The Ongoing History of New Music. And uh, a couple of uh, months ago, I was introduced to, to Vintage Trouble. And uh, I've been sort of addicted ever since. I'm coming, baby. If you're a newbie, your first inclination may be, like, what are these guys? Are they a soul band? Are they an R&B band? People like to call us a lot of things. And, you know, we got a soul singer that can rock as much as any rocker you know we got a rhythm and blues bass player that can dig in i'm a rock and roll drummer that likes to pock it up we have a rock and roll guitar player that has a lot of colors when we gathered as musicians and created this band we wanted to just make music the way we feel it and that's how it's coming out why do you think this particular brand of music has struck a chord today what resonates with people with this band and we record live because it's not quantized music it's not made on a computer. I don't think that people even realize what they're feeling, but they're feeling the ebb and flow of their own bodies because that's how music does flow within us. You know, kids are just going back to old music and they don't even know why they love it. Um, they're discovering it like it's new and it's because it's talking to their bodies in a certain way that they're, that they're not used to. Good soul music has been around in every decade. No matter where you go, no matter who it is, you put on an Otis Redding record, everyone's gonna love it. You know, you put on um, Motown, everyone's gonna love it. You put on even some of the early rock and roll that's really based in the same kind of stuff. You put on early stones, most people are gonna start grooving. There's something about soul music that is just so the core, I think, of, of who we are as people. I mean, the soul is underneath it all. Wow!